What's up guys? Just gonna make a quick video here, um, kind of a channel update as well as uh, people have been asking me a lot about the tremolos on this guitars and so I'm gonna have to go ahead and just do a quick overview of what they are, what they do, which ones are good, which ones are terrible, and so forth. You can see I took the tremolo off of my Steinberger because I hate the overlord of music trem. It's awful. Um, just to let you know, I am leaving for Japan tonight. I'm going to spend a week in Japan. Um, you know, take the kids to Disneyland. And then I'm also going to go down to Bali, Indonesia and spend about a month in Bali. So I won't have any guitar videos uploading anytime soon. I might just try to find some guitar shops in Bali and Japan and maybe do some guitar videos based on some guitars I can find in other countries. Uh, you know, try to make it interesting for you guys to see what it's like to find guitars in other countries and, you know, maybe pick one up in Bali. They're probably going to be dirt cheap in Bali. I could get one for like 150, 200 bucks. I also heard the Strandbergs are made in Indonesia, so maybe I could pick up an original Strandberg if I can find a good deal. But, um, yeah, so leave tonight. Not going to be back home until July, like 25th. So long flights ahead. So anyways, people have been asking me a lot about these tremolos on these three guitars and all I can say is some are good some are bad um, in terms of just like a fixed tremolo this one on the NK this one is probably the most reliable and it's the most simple to deal with I've also talked about this in other videos the basis for this is each of these are an individual string holder it's not one piece you can just take this bolt out right here this bolt comes out this whole piece comes out, it strings through the back, it runs up to the top here, and then it just goes into um, the little peg here, it goes in right here over the nut, and then you just tighten it down here, and then usually you have some coming out here and you can just trim it off or whatever. It's up to you. This is the most simple uh, trim there is because it's a fixed one, it's not floating. Very easy to intonate, very easy to string, easy to take off and work on super simple probably the best trim that i've used in a long time now i get a lot of questions on this tremolo right here this one here is very simple to use again it's a floating trim it's not hard to deal with you're just gonna you're gonna take your strings are gonna come into here there's like a little cylinder right there if you can see it try to focus in there's a little cylinder oh, where's my finger right down in there and what happens is you put the string in then you tighten it up and it rolls around uh, like a cylinder that just tightens up. So, and you just use this little tool right here. This is a fixed or a floating bridge. So it's very similar to the Overlord of Music, but it's kind of like a better version of it. And I've also shown that this right here, this little peg, once you put that in there, it locks it down, makes it a fixed bridge. If you pop this peg up, it'll roll down and it'll sit underneath the trim and become a floating bridge. It's not terribly difficult. I mean, if you've dealt with any type of tremolo like a Floyd Rose or any type of floating trim, uh, this is nothing that's very different from that except for the fact that the tension of the spring right here, if you can see in there, right in there there's a big spring, and I'll show you on the Overlord of Music of what it looks like. That's your tension, and normally in guitars, when you see the bridge like here, I'll show you real quick on this one. Normally, your springs right here are what have your tension. So that's what's going to be what tensions off your bridge. And you match that to your string tension and, you know, however much you want it to float or however stiff you want the trim to be. Those are your springs. So in the Overlord of Music, in the other one, the spring is right here. So this is the Overlord of Music. And this is really a bad tremolo. I don't like this at all. Um, I've actually taken it off my Steinberger here because I'm looking about trying to get a fixed trim put on it. So what happens is you have this frame. This frame right here, it sits down just like this. And these are your posts. And unfortunately, these posts, if you look at them, they do uh, thread in, but they don't thread in very far. So a lot of what depends on the height of your bridge is how much they're, they've routed out of the guitar. Unfortunately, they could have routed out 
probably another quarter inch and then put this in and it would have, you know, the action wouldn't have been so high. What happens is you just put this in, you put a screw here, screw here, and then a screw here. They've actually missed one here, but I guess that's for maybe if you have a longer uh, guitar body that needs a four screws. This only needs three. What happens then is you put the spring in here, and then this this will tighten up. But see, you have to the spring has to sit on has to sit in this cavity here. So putting this thing back on and getting it set up it's just a nightmare. It really is a pain in the ass. So this one, like I said, is similar to the other one, except for you just put your strings in here, and then the the ball end sits inside there, and then you can adjust the saddles and the saddle height, the screw on the side here. If you loosen it, you can take all of the saddles out uh, or just intonate it. So that's how that works. So anyways, guys, that's just a little overview of how the tremolos work. They're not terribly different. They're actually all pretty simple. The only one that I really think is the best is probably the NK. Other than that, so if you have any questions, let me know. But uh, that's it. See you guys in Japan later.